Dear friends, the race to satisfy that void that is inside of us will not satisfy. You will never get to a point where you can satisfy this void. And there is a reason for that. The reason is that that void is there because of the fall. Because we have fell away from the presence of God. In the beginning, God created man to have fellowship with him. Man was in the presence of God, but then man disobeyed God and fell away from the presence of God. That is why we have this void inside of us, because we are missing the presence of God in our lives. So now people run after the things of the world, after what they can see with their physical eyes, material things, money, power. They run after other people for relationships, and they try to satisfy that thirst. To satisfy that craving, many people do many different things. Some people, they, for example, start gambling. Another person might play a lot of video games, like I used to play too. And we try to satisfy that void, but that void, dear friend, will never be satisfied. And the reason is that it is destined for God to fill that void with His Holy Spirit. So that is why, dear friend, you might run all your life after what will never satisfy you. But at the end, if you don't find the truth, if you don't find God, if God's Spirit does not fill that void in you, you will never be made whole and you will never know what was missing in your spirit. And that void will never be satisfied. Dear friend, you need to see God. You need to go to Christ, broken, humble, and seek God so that you might find him. Jesus Christ promised. He said that the one who seeks will find. The reason why people don't find, it is because they are not interested. All it takes, dear friend, is to have that love of the truth. If you go after God, then you will find him. Because God does not reject anybody. And he waits for us to have that desire in us. He will draw us also. He will call us to come to him. But we need to do our part and respond to his calling. When we do that, when we seek him, we will find him. Then, dear friend, that void that was in you, you will realize straight away that it was always God who wanted to live in there. We are the temple of God, this body. If I build a house today, it is because I want to live in it. The same thing happened from the beginning. God created man so that he has a relationship with him and that he can fellowship with him and live in him. But we need to yield to God and we need to experience the Holy Spirit of God in order to fill that void and accomplish the works that God wants us to accomplish so that he can use us for his kingdom. It is all about the kingdom of God, dear friends. It is all about Jesus. It's all about God finding his family, the children of God. Will you take the time, dear friend, to seek the truth for once in your life? Or will you keep running after what will never satisfy that void inside of you? That void can only be filled with God himself. It's there for one reason only. It is for God to live in. You need to open yourself up to God spiritually and you need to seek him so that you find him. Then, dear friend, you will be under the authority of the King, Jesus Christ. You will belong to the kingdom of God. It is a spiritual kingdom that does not belong to this world. It is not of this world, but it is the only kingdom that will abide forever, dear friend. You need to find that kingdom and you need to be translated from the current kingdom, this dark kingdom that is in this world, to the kingdom of light under the authority of Jesus. Then, dear friend, you will have eternal life. And if you endure with Christ until the end, nothing will snatch you away from him. You will be with him. You will be a child of God forever. Don't risk it, dear friend. Don't risk to lose eternal life. 
Don't risk the kingdom of God only to run after what can never satisfy that void inside you. Come to Jesus, dear friend. Find the truth, and then you will have eternal life. And may God bless you.